Welcome to Chicago Grit, day three. This is Winfield, four corner, pretty fast crit, not a lot going on, pretty easy to tail gun in this race, so I'm not expecting a breakaway, and therefore this is gonna be a pretty short video. Saw Andrew Sparks in the beginning, old uh, college roommate there, but into the, the first left-hand turn, and I'm pretty far back, but it does not matter, because I'm just gonna stay at the back the whole time move up pretty late in this course in this race first two corners are pretty wide open and then this whole back stretch has like a little step up but it is nothing too crazy uh there's a little yeah a little torque out of that section but you can let the gap go and then close it into the last two corners which you're going to see in a little bit here Lots of dudes still here. Lucas Burgoyne in the overall leader's jersey. And, yeah, it's going to be a sprint. Almost entirely certain. Sam Boardman, I think, went for a break last year and uh, made it pretty far. But the field last year went like 32 miles an hour for an hour and 15. And I think on this course it's pretty easy for that to happen. There was a breakaway halfway through with like seven guys uh, but my doq missed it so they ended up pulling it back and you're gonna just see me tail gunning a lot today i ended up with the austin outlaws here you can see gregory vanderpool and lucas burgoyne luke fetzer up here just kind of jumped in with them hanging out having a good time at the back out of the chaos where it can be fairly smooth you can see luke and greg talking about their tail gunning which is a great time we were having a blast back here old luke fetzer and uh gregory were doing a little uh, we called it a team camp uh just learning how to ride as a team together and then we've got monk on my right here messing around um old pal from uh, project echelon and a local here in illinois I do have a different bike for this race. I'm on a Trek Amanda, which was bought for me by my team a little bit ago. Uh, between my little wind space and uh, Amanda ALR gap. But you might be able to see the shifter there. I do have a new group set on it. Bonus points if you can guess what kind of group set that is. I did chat with a few guys b before the race started about the group set. And it's pretty interesting. It's electric wireless i'll be doing a video on it later you can see my teammate zach rivenbark moving up on the right there but i am totally cool letting gaps like this open i'll be closing them down in corners anyway the whole field kind of sits up during the corners um and you can just smoothly roll through them get plenty of momentum out of them so i was not at all concerned with gaps opening and uh the guys behind me were totally cool letting me uh close them through the corners so it was great i didn't i didn't really spend much energy at all this entire race you can see wolfgang brandle up at the front he had a pretty hot route on the last few laps which was exciting to see and he's been doing pretty well he's got like sixth or seventh in in most of these races stand with him and a few of the other guys at the local races or at the the first day here in west dundee um, got some cool host housing. This foundation guy took a pretty creative line, making his own space through the peloton, just straight through the inside. Very interesting way to race. We're getting very close to the end here. Only two minutes left to go. Two laps to go, and I'm still at the back because it, it does not matter. Um, there's almost always a crash in this third corner, and that is foreshadowing because too many people try to get into it all at once there's a crash towards the outside if you guys go down if you guys get held up a bunch of guys go on the grass see luke from austin outlaws there moving back up and through there's still a gap open in the last lap and i'm not panicking about it some guys were like letting gaps go and that's cool we're gonna catch them into the last two corners as what happened last time you can see there's like 20 dudes left in that front little group other guys like letting gaps go maybe finishing their lead out train i'm on this hydro pro guy's wheel foundation dude on the left there and then the hydro pro guy kind of sits up a little bit here 
Um, I was going to come around him uh, when this Australian dude hit it, and then the foundation dude I saw was also hitting it hard, so just tucked in to his wheel into the last few corners. There's a mess going on up in the front, and I know they're going to lose a ton of momentum. You can see they lost a bunch of momentum into this corner, and we're pretty much back on um, on the front. Lucas Burgoyne took the, the last corner first. I think he had uh, maybe James from MitoQ on his wheel and just took the sprint, a uh, pretty downhill sprint, very fast. If you have the legs, you can make it up pretty well. You can see I took a lot of momentum into the last corner. I was just passing guys on this new group set and, uh, yeah, learning how it shifts. So sneaking my way through here and uh, get cut off a little bit by said Hydro Pro guy. So ended up like 16th on the day or 17th, something like that. And, uh, yep, Lucas Burgoyne with the win. Um, Miami Blazers was second, and I think Tom Chester in third. Thanks for watching. See ya.